Hey guys, and welcome back to another round of War Robots with Stupendous. So you guys really liked that uh, other Griffin one, and got several comments about uh, other Griffin setups, and um, a couple in particular stuck out to me uh, was the... Um, so the, I, I guess it'd be the natural next step. We just covered the aphid and orkin one. And if you guys didn't see that, I'll, I'll put that at the end of the video. You guys can click on that and go see it. Um, and yeah, so it'd be a natural transition from that to do the aphid and Tehran. And so I have one of those griffins in right now. Um, and I also have a plasma griffin in, um, which was the other thing that was requested by a few people. So I'm just shooting right now around the corner. Um, to try to distract or to keep that guy from you know coming out to let him know that I'm gunning for him <laughs> um, a lot of times that works out let's get this guy a little bit um, a lot of times that works out um, I, I want the I wanted the range to be closed so that my thunder is more effective that way um, and whether it was because of me or something else uh, at any rate he didn't uh, he didn't pop back out so that was really good all right so he's all the way that way so let's engage this guy with the carnage here all right, that dude's done. <laughs> Had that guy in his face with two thunders going. That's uh, that's no bueno for him. All right, so let's grab this rhino really quick. He's luckily just put a shield up, so he's got a cooldown um, on that. And then he has to also turn around and face me, which takes some time with uh, that uh, heavy bot turntable. <laughs> so um, I dropped into the Leo first, uh, just because it's the slowest spot that I have in right now. And... Um, I saw that we were dropping in against a full clan, um, or what looked like a full clan anyways. I think it's a full clan. Um, and so I dropped I dropped into this so that I could get it out of the way like earlier in the battle, like the slowness. <laughs> so that's why I'm running that right now. I'll drop into a griffin here in a little bit. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to remember what the name of this clan is. Like, I think I always used to think it was uh, the monster clan, but I'm pretty sure it's not. I think it's something else. So we'll have to check at the end of the video. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take a look later after, after we see our scores and stuff like that, we'll take a look. So hopefully this round uh, is good. My last round was really good. I got, um, it was another like, uh, like 950 K damage game. Uh, but with, uh, these setups that I'm running right now, uh, it was really good. It was a really fun round. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I, I'm just, I usually record, you guys know this, but I, I usually record three videos in a row. Um, with uh, with you know commentating while I'm playing and stuff, and uh, I take the best of the three. So <laughs> this is uh, this is number two. Um, hopefully it turns out we're struggling to hold beacons here. So I, I want to get in here and take the jump. <laughs> so see those aphids coming. Um, yeah, I want to I want to get in there and take the center beacon, but it is uh, it's too well surrounded right now. There's no point, especially with that guy right there. We'll hit him with this, and I, I find it's best if you if you uh, kind of with the way that the aphids are right now, if you aim towards that person um, and then walk diagonally, that seems to work pretty well um, with the with the griffin anyway. Uh, let me know what you guys have been finding as far as uh, dodging aphids in a griffin. Um, that that's what seems to be most effective to me. I I really do need to do some more testing on that, but all right. Just making sure that guy wasn't going to pop back out. So, oh, that's a, uh, oh, nice. That Carnage's shield just totally saved me. Let's grab this guy really quick. He, he wasn't looking at me, so that's a perfect opportunity to fire the aphids. Um, Because otherwise he can just pop his shield. Man, those ansels, they come back so fast. Crazy, man. So, do you guys, have you guys been running ansel shields since they got buffed? I'm really, uh, I'm looking forward to getting one. And this thing's about done. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to getting one. Um, I don't have one on the live servers. The video I put up of the Ancelot the other day, uh, that was on the test server. Oh, man. Hey, but we were able to chip into that Leo pretty uh, pretty solidly. So let's jump into our Plasma guy. Uh, I was going to jump through uh, that middle section right there, but <laughs> you know what? I think I've only done that successfully like four times ever in the history of War Robots. <laughs> I think of. Uh, the rest of the times, I just kind of awkwardly slide down the wall, like, really slowly after your weapons kind of, you know, get hung up on top. And it's like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm trying to be cool, and it's just not working, and yeah. All right, so it looks like that Carnage is facing uh, my my friend there. So that gives me the opportunity to help him out a lot and, uh, and do that. I'm really surprised, actually, that that Carnage didn't take out my Griffin buddy there. Man, we are, we're down quite a bit. Um, that guy looks like he 
he had to step away from his device or something like that. So we'll uh, we'll take the free damage, but <laughs> more than that, I mean, you don't want this guy coming back like when you're not you know thinking about him and stuff like that. So it's still important to clear him, um, even if he's not doing anything. He could become a threat at any time. So um, that's uh, that's why I bothered with that. And there was no one else to shoot at at the moment. So why the heck not? You know, get him off the field. All right, this stalker. Let's see if we can get him as he comes over the hill. Without, uh, oh, never mind. He, he ran up the hill there. We were on the same plane there for a second, so I thought maybe I'd get him there. So something else, um, I don't know if you guys have been, like, noticed, like, when I'm playing, and you guys probably do this too, but um, when you're when you're shooting at somebody, just, you know, get you, you get used to how much it's going to take to take him out um, as far as uh, dumping ammo into him. And, like, with that stalker, there's no reason to fire more than once. Like, so I just tap the red button to, to take him out. Uh, there's really no reason to do any more. So let's grab this Rhino, and then I really want that side beacon. Um, he's not facing me right now. Oh, he's facing me now. So I'll jump and uh, avoid his rockets. Yeah, that worked out. So that's cool. So yeah, this Griffin, uh, <laughs> I think a, a lot of people probably would have jumped out of it. Like, even even if it has all four weapons, I think a lot, a lot of people jump out of their bots when they get low health. He can still really do a lot, and he can still... I mean, even if you don't do any more damage, I think this is an Ansel here, yeah. Um, even if you don't do any more damage uh, with your weapons, you can still be a distraction on the field and pull people different ways and stuff. Um, so I think more often than not, it's, it's beneficial to stay in your bot. Um, but, uh, you know, obviously that's up to you guys in, in the situation you're in and stuff like that. I definitely jump out of mine sometimes. Uh, but, yeah. So let's uh, let's move up. We gotta, we'll help my teammates take out this Raijin right here. Oh, maybe we should head into center. I've got a, I've got a t couple teammates there. I think they've got that. I see his health draining. Yeah, I'll just head over and take care of the the Raijin. We might be able to bring this back. So they're they've got two guys down. I think one of those guys is that guy that's he was uh, AFK over there. So or <laughs> AF touchscreen. Um. So let's uh, okay. So we're in good range here uh, for this guy. So that uh, that Ansel, remember that's gonna cycle every two seconds. It's gonna pop back on. So um. Just, uh, yeah, friendly neighborhood reminder there. And those legs are so big, like, you can't even get in that close in a, <laughs> in a Lancelot. Um, all right. So, let's see what these guys are. So, they've got those, uh, they've got those ranged guys just standing up there on the top. I mean, you know, honestly, they can't really do too much else against all the close range stuff that we have. Looks like that carnage is going to streak for our beacon over there, but we've got four beacons right now. We, we made a pretty big comeback there. That was, that was pretty awesome. I think I saw a, a trident's going by, so this is a Fury, I think. Yep, Fury. So, all right, so we took him out. Hopefully he doesn't respawn. Whoops, I did not mean to fire my Orkins right there. <laughs> I fired just enough to take out that Fury, and then I accidentally hit the button again. All right, so this this is great. This is a good free damage here. <laughs> this feels like it was probably a, a pretty high-scoring round. And, uh, man, I'm, I'm happy that we're able to make a comeback here. These guys, I think they, they ran out of their bots, uh, their close-range bots, early on in the game, and so they ended up there at the end just standing back, um, not able to really do too much. So let's take a look. Oh, dang, nice. That's uh, that's getting pretty close to my high score. That's that's pretty good. So And four beacons, too. We, we made a pretty good comeback there, and we had that other guy on my team that had four beacons, too. Hangman, that's what it is. I just saw it on the other screen, so we'll just back out here. But, yeah, Hangman. So, anyways, if you guys like the video, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button to show your support for the channel. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for more content. And, as always, drop a comment below. Let me know what you'd like to see in the future, and we'll just keep rolling out videos like that, guys. Thank you so much. Have an amazing day.